Daniel Pinto. Hello. 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 They have a. Uh, yeah, you're a bit. <laughs> They've been very successful for us uh, so far. But um, they have three disciplines. They have one meter, three million, and the platform, and both of them do all three. And maybe you could, they could talk about how fun uh, that is. <laughs> they, fall. <laughs> they fall from the sky and land in the water head first. So, yeah. uh, Molly, why don't you go ahead and talk about your some of the things you did this summer um, in terms of your uh, the national. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, this summer, I went to, uh, well, we both went to Dallas, Texas, to SMU for USA Diving Nationals. And um, it was a really long meet. We had qualifications for a week, and then we also had the actual nationals competition for a week. And on one meter, I just missed finals and got ninth place. On platform, I believe I got 12th place. And then on three meter, I made semifinals. So it was a pretty good summer because um, the year before I did not do as well at all. I didn't compete one meter at all and um, on three meter I missed out of semifinals by quite a bit. So it was a fun summer. It was really good. It was fun to be. It was um, Pinto and I went and then also our teammate Michaela Sliney also went. So it was a really fun time to get to have a little team bonding experience in Dallas, Texas. So, but yeah. Yeah, go ahead and talk about your um, I only uh, competed three meter and um, in one meter. It was a really, really great event for me. Although I'm not allowed to qualify for Team USA because I represent uh, another country, it was a very great experience for what I have, for what I have coming forward. Um, I don't remember my places exactly, but I did uh, did a very good score, and I was up there with everyone else. So it was really fun to be there with my team. Talk about the ACC uh, diving, what y'all expect to you know, be coming up, and how, how difficult of a, a field it is to face. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> um, for women, it's a, kind of a big deal. I mean, we don't have the strongest platform experience for the ACC. Um, we were just put in it not too long ago. Um, a past teammate of ours actually won ACC, so it's kind of really, she won it on platform, so it's really cool to kind of have that coming forward and kind of have that push to try and do the same thing. Um, since it's not too hard on platform, it's definitely really competitive for the people who do platform all the time because a lot of the schools don't all have a platform. So for us, we just really have to compete against all the women and really try to sh do our best um, against teammates because really our teammates here are the ones who really do platform all the time and that's who we see and those are really our big competitors. Um, three meter, we have Alicia Black, who's coming back. She's from the University of Miami. Really good, two-time Olympian from Great Britain. Um, really difficult to go against her because she is so, she's just very, she knows what she wants and she goes for it. She's very, comp, um, what is it? She's very confident. She's a very confident competitor. So. Um, but it's a really great experience to get to go against women like that and through the past USA diving competitions I've gone to I've gotten to do that so um, and so have our teammates so it should be really good for us and should be really good show out and then one meter is always a toss-up it changes every year um, the girl who won it my freshman year didn't even make it back last year and then I got 30th maybe low 20s if that my freshman year and last year I got third so it's a really fun competition to kind of see who can show up that day and who can do their best. Each student athlete what was it that got you into diving why did you decide to be divers instead of swimmers? Um, I swam when I was younger I wasn't a big fan of it I was always the one who kind of tried to grab the lane line and pull myself forward because I wasn't very good at it but um, then I switched to gymnastics, and I did gymnastics for about six years. I broke my foot, and then it was kind of my sister did diving, and she, she went from gymnastics to diving, so it was kind of time to transition into something new. And um, I just did diving and had fun with it for a while, and then my sophomore year of high school was when I kind of realized I can be competitive, and I started training with a club and actually got into it. So swimming was, my brother was a swimmer, and 
it just was a lot of work and it was a little bit different of work that I was into. Um, how I got into diving, I actually tried everything except swimming. Um, one day I was at my local pool and there was uh, like a small club and I tried it out and the coach there thought I could really excel in the sport so I just stuck with the rest of just that's kind of how it started and it's just been great since. Um, looking at ACC's, um, last year wasn't a very good meet for me at, at ACC's. Um, it's my freshman year, it was just a very different competition of what I'm used to. But going into this year, I'm narrowing it down more to one and three meters, so what I'm, what I'm better at. Um, I've done, uh, put up good scores this season coming up to ACC that should put me in finals in both events. And I should score on tower. And I'm really looking forward to make finals uh, on one and three meter. And you know, I'm, I'm conscious that diving is a sport that you really don't know what happens until the day of. So I just, you know, take it step by step, make it, make it to finals. And then when I'm there, just put everything what I've done in the work. The thought process that goes through a diver's mind, the old goal kickers have their own, some people shoot a bell shot as a mental process they go through before they attempt the event. Each one of you, what, what, what are you thinking as you get ready to do your dive? Um, it's different for every event, kind of. Um, for three meter, one meter and three meter, I do the same thing. I kind of, um, I wipe my stomach, I wipe my hands together. And then um, if it's a forward approach, I go up on my toes, I take two deep breaths, and then I go ahead for the dive, and I'm just thinking, um, for my freshman year, I had a different coach, and he always told me 80% power, and I just am always rehearsing that in my head, trying to not, you want to put everything you have into the dive, but you don't want to put everything you have into it until you're off the board, because if you do that while you're on the board, there are so many things that can go wrong. So um, just kind of thinking about, forget everything you did in warm-ups, forget everything you did that day, because the moment you get stuck on one thing that you did during warm-ups, your whole meet is going to be tanked because you're going to be so stuck on that that you're going to do the complete opposite of what you did in warm-ups and you could just mess up so much and it's happened I've done that so many times that I've gotten to the point now where it's just kind of like take that deep breath clear your mind and just go for it and do the best you can do on that dive because you don't want to be thinking about any of the dives you've done before any of the dives you're going to do after it's just that one dive think about it rehearse it on the side of the pool, step up on the board, and just forget about everything else? Um, in my case, it took me a while actually to pinpoint uh, what really works for me. And now it's more of I just put all trust into myself. You know, I've done the work, and I really just don't think much about it. Just do, uh, I try to break the dive down into like three simple steps, and that's it. You know, it's whatever happens is going to happen. And I trust myself that I'm, I'm ready for this, and I've done dives. I've done the dives I compete thousands of times, so I don't really think too much of it. I just get into my head. It seemed to be really working this this season, so I want to stick to it. Anything else? For both, just describe your favorite dive right now. Oh. <laughs> um, it's my favorite and probably my scariest. Uh, it's on 10 meter. I do. Gainer two and a half twist, which um, no one else in the country as of right now does it. And um, there are a few con other countries that do it. But um, it's probably my favorite because um, everyone knows that I do it. And um, it's just so different because no one else does it. So a lot of our dives, we compete. All the rest of the competition does them. So it's just comparison to everyone else almost as you're going. And since no one else does it, it's just kind of a breath of fresh air. And I can't be judged the same way as everyone else because no one else is doing it. So that's definitely my favorite. It's kind of hard because there's a lot of dives we like to do. But um, I think my favorite's going to be on three meter. It's uh, front two and a half, two twists. Um, I really like this dive because it's um, it's an easy it's not it's a relatively easy dive for me, but for a lot of people it's hard because it's just two somersaults and two twists at the same time and trying to make it look good, and it's something that's come to me very easy in a way, and I can put it down and meets pretty good. And a lot of people uh, appreciate that, 
and it's a dive that's ha has a large DD, and it's really nice to put it down in competition, and people know that that's like a dive I can rely on. It's not like oh he'll probably miss this dive, but it's it's not a dive I miss, so it's really fun. Okay, I'm gonna sneak Zach in here. You guys can. Thank you. Thank you. Zach Harding is a a, a butterfly.